Hey, hello, welcome. In this video, we are going to learn how we can start our ATP database if it is in a stop status. Sometimes if you are not going to use your ATP database from long or providing incorrect password again, it can be logged or it can be always stopped or hibernated. So how you can fix that issue so that you can uh, again reuse your ATP database. For that, you just have to go and visit your a database section so you can see once you will click on task you will get to know about the oracle database and here we have autonomous database that autonomous database and all these things so just go and click on this autonomous database so all the database created you will be able to see here you can see so i have only one database created and this is in a stop status right you, you can see so we have to activate this one right so how you can do you just have to click on this hyperlink once you will click on the hyperlink, your database will be displayed here and with database, all the details are there. But a status is in a stop. To update the status to start and all, you just have to click on more action and here you can see we have a start button. Just click here start. It will take a bit time and during the time it will be started. So you can see it's got changed to a starting. So it will take some time. It can be 10 to 5 seconds and all and after that it will be activated. So just go back and just check again so let me see that what time it's taking to a start so yeah and also if you want to download the uh, wallet uh, credentials for the database obviously you can do so let me start this one then i can show you how you can download the database details that the wallet and then uh, then how you can use that wallet to to obviously access your application so that i'm going to show you so yeah you can see now it's changed to available once you will click here you will be able to see status goes to change available now it's ready to use so uh, hope you have already that uh, the credentials and all you don't need to change the credentials but again if you want to download the wallets for that just click on database connections and here if you will see we have wallet section click on download wallet and it will ask you to provide the password so once you will provide the password it will be downloaded wallet and the same wallet and the wallet password you will use to connect your database so let me provide the password here so I given the password here and now I'm just going to click on download. So it will download the wallet and the same password, whatever we given here, this password will be used to, uh, to use this wallet in our system. So system means that OIC connections. So the same wallet will be used. So you just click on here, you will see that uh, your wallet got downloaded here and this is the wallet you can utilize in your SQL developer or in your, uh, in your ATP connection in OIC to, to obviously use the database. So let me go to create a new connection and i can show you that the when you are going to create connection you just have to give any name so let me give the name as uh, what we can give name as let me see that atp underscore db01 this is the name and username password we have to give so this will be the same username password whatever we have for this database right for, for this database you configure right in this uh, database actions here and there so so that uh, we can utilize so i have already a user and password i am just going to use here so i'm just going to use user and the password right so i know the password and here you can see in the connection type you just have to select the cloud wallet and here whatever wallet file you downloaded right so that wallet file you have to select this is the wallet file right so let me move here go to browse and you just have to go for download right so we'll go for desktop download somewhere we have let me see where is the download one or directly we can visit user uh, and download right so this is the where is the wallet we downloaded and here you can see we selected this one will select so in sql developer it will not ask you to provide the wallet password and all but obvious once you will go and create the connection in oic it will ask you to provide the wallet password so but but make a note of that so now i'm going to just uh, save the password click on test to verify that everything is working fine or not and i'm able to access this database from here or not so once this will be done i will just save and click on connect so just wait a second to complete this one so once this will be tested we will be able to access this one yeah you can see this status is success so now it's done i'm just going to save so that this name will be listed down inside you can see the name 01 got saved i'm just going to click on connect so once i will click on connect a new database will be connected to my sql developer id tool where i can execute my sql queries so that's the simplest step to uh, activate your database, connect your database to your system. 
when you know I see you can also create the connections I have already created a separate videos for that you can just watch our playlist or you can just go and uh, scroll in, in our YouTube videos you will get to know so now just it's loading so you can see now database came here DTP DB01 it's, it's loading so after that we will be able to access this here so that's the complete flow so if you have any any questions and we want to ask anything don't forget to do a comment here thank you so much for joining